Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lightyear Frontier, shall we? Siloom, good evening. Good to see you. Alright, so uh, this is a brand new game to the channel. I believe it comes out today or tomorrow, I think. Uh, I was given early access, but there was an embargo till the 15th, so I'm just getting around to playing it now. I thought, hey, never played the game. Let's check it out on stream. Bryson, good evening, good to see you. All right, so uh, we're going to go single player, and we're going to start a new game. And the world name is going to be Incompetentia. To infinity and beyond indeed. That's right, that's right, good point. Earth's no good anymore. Ouch. Some, like you, have taken off for the light year frontier. You want a fresh start. A new home. Alex, good evening. Oh boy. That's not good, what's happening to my ship. That's strange, Alex. Now well, we crashed. And I'm dusting myself off. And I'm in the meadows. Okay, so just kind of looking around. Find your mech. Mission started. That seems important. Right, let me change a couple of things really fast. So first of all, um, is there some kind of movement blur? I do not want this. Okay, and then go to controls and invert... The Y-axis, thank you so much. And just in case I want to try the controller, do that. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm running. I'm on the path. I got an early key, Alex, to the game. Okay. Yes, I thought it looked really cool. They asked if I wanted to play it, and I was like, I checked out the Steam page for this, and I was like, yes, please, I would like to play this game. It seems like Satisfactory Stardew Valley with mechs, but I'm not sure. Actually, let me ask about extra keys. That's a great question. I got a pickaxe. Uh, strike, grab. Pickaxe can break trees, rocks, and other materials. That was quite the tumble you took there. Luckily, your biometrics tell me you're A-OK. -okay. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. Okay. Hey, Devin, good evening. I'm excited, too. Attach mech engine arm. Okay, it's over here. Or that that's not an arm. That just looks like a... That looks like the front, actually. Um, let's go over here. Here it is. Found it. Alright, so... Um, grab with... Okay, you... Oh, look at this! My pickaxe, if I hold right-click, it, like, holds it up. Gravity. There we go. Cool, Alex. Sounds great. Alright, um, attach the engine. Seems important. I'm going to put it over here. Oh my. Flip that sucker sunny side up and hop in. We got a planet to explore. Well, we do have a planet to explore. Sunny side up indeed. Um flipping it. Oh my goodness, it jumped up. All right, and we are going to enter. Get this show on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a special kind of power, Devin. All right. Find your tools. Mission started. All right. Wow, look at this game. It looks beautiful. Um, I need to find the irrigation hose, the seed shooter, the spike saw, the sprout cannon, the vacuum harvester. By the way, the music is like the most chill 
guitar music. Excuse my manners. One kind of stops expecting yes after 200 years. Name's PIP 3R. That's Piper for sure. All right, Piper. In the sky. That blinking dot is yours truly. Oh. Not enough introductions. Let's get you situated and make you at home. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Alex. It really is, Devin. It really is. All right, so they want me to find stuff. And I'm just going to walk around. I'm in my mech. I can run. There's this, like, plume of orange smoke. So I'll just go check this out. See what it's all about. Looks good. Looks like I want it. Oh, I jumped. Oh, I have maybe, like, a little uh, jetpack or something here. Spike saw. This is something I need. I have a saw. Timu, um, I think it's more like a farming game, but I don't know if, um, than a survival game. Yeah, as Alex said, farming sim. But I don't know. I have a mech. That magnificent mech. Those high-powered tools, and even that ship of yours. Farm Mech Project really was extraordinary. It really was. It's such a shame that it got canceled in the end. Oh. Got canceled. Alright, so I'm in the uh, Restore Pine Heights. Mission started. Alright, we're just going to kind of go over here. Uh, there's some gooey stuff. Noxious slime. Alright, let's uh, not step into jelly. Let's run over here. Yes, Temu. Very, very vibey. I'm hoping it's got some nice chill out. There's, it looks like a little toxic environment here. I'm kind of, you know, I feel like a little slime rancher somehow as well with these vibes. Um, let's see. I'm going to just kind of go up this way. Oh, bird flew into my mech. I hope it's okay. Now, can I just break this tree? Okay, my saw is... Oh my goodness. There it goes. Look what I got. I got plant fiber. I got all kinds of new recipes. So you can um, left click with the saw to like... Do that kind of cutting. Or you can right click to do a... Sweeping cut. Which seems pretty good. I know those trees are sorry looking. They look so broken, like... Um, well, we'll see. All right, Alex wants to see if we take damage. Okay, so let's see. Where is my health? Um, no, you don't take damage. It just kind of slows you down is what it seems like. It seems gooey to walk on. All right, and... Oh, there's some down here. I'm going to go get it. Science, indeed. All right, what are you up to? You're a red cornflower. Aragi, what's up, my friend? Thank you for following. All right, so we got a new resource, the red color flower. All right. Oh, boy. All right, I can't help it. I'm going to try it with a controller for a little bit. The stone, indeed. Now, do I need to use a different tool? I don't have... Um, a pick. Can I just use... Yeah. So this saw is like a pickaxe and a saw combined. This arm that I have. That's a good question, Timmy. You, you start the game out of the mech, but I don't know if I want to get out of it. Yeah, you can exit it. Here I am. I'm on foot. And then there's the mech right there. So I can get in and out. Revved up and ready to go. <laughs> Not with my fragile person. Um, okay, so I got a watering hose, I believe. Or the irrigation hose. Okay. I gotta tell you, I can't believe... Uh, this game looks amazing. The visuals are, you know, really, really outstanding. It's a new game, so I... 
was so quick to give up on the farm net project. Sending us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for hospitable planets. That was no small feat. Desperate times, I suppose. I suppose. I'm playing it on DirectX 12. I don't know if that matters or not. Uh, ooh, I don't know about that. Comes out on Tuesday. Okay. I never know what choice to make with that DirectX. I'm like, all right, whatever. Just the biggest one. Ray tracing enabled? Oh, okay, cool. I agree. I agree, Temu. I mean, this game doesn't look like, you know, a game that I've played this year. Yes, yes, you're right. It's not realistic. It's like, you know, cartoony, but with amazing effects. All right, so now I have, um, I can build a shed and a plot. So here comes the base building elements. Now I do want to look for, you see over there the smoke coming up. That's well, my... abandoning the light year frontier for Mars does make some sense. It was a lot closer and would sustain Earth's population, at least for a while. Oh, wow, you can do like a third person view. That's pretty insane. Look at my mech from, <laughs> from this view. Okay, or you could go first person. Hi, bird guy. Um, all right, so you can hold right bumper to kind of switch between the spike saw, the seed shooter, and the irrigation hose. I'm going to put the saw back on. Yeah, that caboose is real. It says farm tech. How about that? Yeah, base building indeed. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff that I can gather, but I'm just going to kind of follow the, the tutorial. Like, what's this? Oh my gosh, this is a rat scallion nest. I can feed them basic fodder. Well, I don't really have that. Oh, this is a little rat scallion down there. It's asleep. Okay, well, it, we'll just let it sleep. That's the building menu. Okay, cool. Oh, I have a flashlight with uh, R3 on the controller. Sweet. All right, I'm going down. That is the wrong button, but I... <laughs> it is called the Rat Scallion. Isn't that funny? All right, vacuum harvester. Let's get it. All right, so this thing will let me what? Yep. I mean, exactly as you thought, vacuum harvest. That's sweet. <laughs> That's so funny, Temu. So, it's kind of like, you know, you got the Pacific Drive vacuum going. Thousands of people who initially came to the frontier, taking a chance on this one-way trip, only to get abandoned. But for generations, they've managed to thrive here. Your neighbors are quite tenacious, huh? Very tenacious. Hey, the tired tortoise. Thank you for subscribing, my friend. We're going over here. Yeah, it is cool. Oh, you're going to need to vacuum more in the mid zone? Okay, cool. I like to take the vacuum anyway because I'm lazy, but that's just me. All right, so now I, I completed the mission Find Your Tools. The sprout cannon plants trees and large plants in the ground. I mean, the fact that you use cannons to do planting with your mech, that's a new take on farming. Okay, so now they want me to build a shed and a plot. Now, I'm going to see if I can open the map or something. Okay, I can. So here's the world map. I'm on it. I don't know where to build, but I'm going to build near water. So I'm going to go to my marker and just try to build over there. I know you weren't sent here for a mission that's been cancelled for nearly two centuries. You probably found that ship in a scrap heap somewhere and took off a green of pastures, right? No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just happy to finally have some company. I am too. It's great. I'll talk to you all day long, AI in the sky. You tell me what to do, and we'll get some farming done.
Okay, so here's my custom marker. So I'm going to go to building, and I can build a, sh a shed, an oven, and an oil presser. So they want us to build this, but I need a bunch of wood. Um, and I wonder if I can just, you know, put it down even without... Yeah, you can. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. So you can just kind of blueprint the shed in, and then I'll go get the resources. Sorry, trees. It's for... Uh, farming all right get him I honestly don't know if this is the best way to be um, getting the, the wood from the trees. This might be faster, but the the sweep can get more than one. You know, I can hit two at once. The animations are very smooth. Over encumbered. Oh man, I'm a mech and I'm over encumbered. That seems outrageous. How could that be? All right, let's see how I finish building this. Um, okay, yeah, you just add max. All right, and um, is this done being built? There's some blue on here. Well, maybe it's just painted blue. I honestly can't tell. I guess it's done. It just has blue. I kind of thought that was, like, not finished, but it's just got some color to it. Okay, great. So we need to build an oil presser inside a shed. Isn't that crazy, Alex? Um, okay, so what we're going to do is... Yeah, Stardew, the new update. I'm excited about that as well. Alright, so we're going to build an oil presser, which is right here. And it needs to be inside the shed. So I'm just going to kind of rotate it. Like such. And you can see the white dashed line uh, around the shed telling you like where it has to be. And that looks great. I'm going to build it right there. And I need to build a plot, and I need to build a place to sleep. So let's just go back to the build menu. And we don't need the oven yet. Let's go ahead and we can build the plot actually right now. So I'll b just put it close to my shed, I guess. Um, I'm just going to build one. And then a mailbox. I mean, yeah, sure. I guess we need a mailbox. We can make good use of this. And then let me go to uh, a storage box. That seems very useful. Now, I don't know if it needs to be in your shed or not. Maybe it needs to be in the shed to be accessed by stuff inside the shed. So I'll be reasonable, you know, responsible with this and put it, like, right. Uh, you can play stuff better in first person, it feels like. I'm going to put it kind of on the edge right there. And then I'm going to go to... Uh, here's my tent. So I need a tent. Now this is for me. That would be great too, Devin, right? <laughs> That's funny, Alex. You know, it, when I'm building this stuff, I'm like, that tent's way too small. But then I forget, no, I'm a person inside a giant mech. And this is the right size for me. Okay, and then I'm going to walk over here, and we're just going to add the stuff, and we're going to, you know, oop, cutscene. I like that too, Timu. Oh, day two. Okay, it just did a cutscene for day two. Morning. I, Hope you had a good night's sleep. I actually parts made a world of difference. didn't the sleep. Looking ride in the frontier for sure. I need some more wood. Yeah, it's really nice to just kind of, you know, get to see what you want and can seamlessly switch between them. I agree.
take this tree. Now they want me to go to sleep for the quest, which I can do. That's not a problem. But let me finish building some stuff. Alright, the plot is done. Uh, the storage is done. And I need stone. Well, I got some stone right here. Geode shards. Nice. New resource. All right. But how much stone do I have? Almost. No, that's enough. Ooh, it looks like I'm making frosting. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. All right, so we're going to open the oil presser, and we can make any oil. So let's make some plant oil, I guess. Okay, so we're making plant oil. I guess it's automating that. And do I want to plant anything? I don't know. Um, plant a seed in the mound. Um, oh, I need to use my seed thing. Alright, so... I only... Do I have any other seeds? How do I... No, how do I change, like, what I've got? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm... These poly berries, I guess, is what I'm making. That's all I really have. Okay, so they're in there. And I guess I'll water it? I am watering. Look at this. Doesn't that look sweet? I watered my plants. How about that? <laughs> okay, so we've got the plants watered. I'm gonna get out of the mech. They want me to go to sleep. Some things you just have to do yourself. Now you can't go in. The mech looks so good. You cannot go in uh, third person mode when you're out of the mech. All right, so coziness. Uh, you can't sleep before noon. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. Can I do any work without the... Yeah, I guess I could just mine if I want, like, without the mech, but I don't know why you'd necessarily want to do that. I'm picking stuff up. That's right, I got my magic tool. Okay, let's go back in the mech then. Okay, so I think we crafted the oil, did we not? Yes, it, it crafted, it just takes time. I can make a clothesline, a wash basin, and a torch. That's pretty sweet. Um, increased efficiency. This construct has a chance to produce duplicates when crafting. Okay, great. I'm just going to put a bunch in the queue, as many as I can. Alright, fantastic. Um, I'm going to try to use the storage chest. And, uh, let's see... I'm at 31.4 out of 60 weight. So I'm going to put in some stuff that's, uh, maybe I don't need to carry around, like softwood, I guess. Stones, regular wood. Okay. Now, the real test would be if I want to build more plots, which I don't know if I really do. Um, clothesline. No, I can't. I need the wood on me. It doesn't draw from the chest, which is sad, but maybe I can build a better chest that would do that for me. All right, so I can make a fence, and I can make a campfire, and I can make a, uh, a torch to get some light. Okay, so I'm going to open the box, and we're going to take out all of the, the wood and the stone, even though it's a little bit heavy, just so I can build some more if I feel like it. So I've got my tent, so I should probably um, build myself a clothesline, because it seems vital. So it's got to go around your tent, and it will go right there. 
And then we need a wash basin. And that has to go, you know, near that. Good placement on that one. That was good placement. Hey, Colby, good evening. Good to see you. All right. So what I'm going to do is then close um, build mode and then just do that. There we go. Okay, I built those. That looks great. The comfort still needs a, a touch-up. We can see that. Uh, can I build anything else that would help with comfort? Not at the moment. Wooden crate and storage box. Okay. Uh, let's build some more plots. Blocked. Blocked by what? Hmm. There you go. I need some more wood. So, Colby, this is actually more like a, a base building farming game. There's really no survival elements at all to it. And you have a mech. Take a look at that. Alright, so... Looking good. And I'm going to finish building this plot. Just because. Got it. Okay. So now, um, they want us to go to sleep, but we have to wait a little bit. So I might as well gather some other resources. Let's see if I can get any seeds or anything. Like, if I use my... This gives me plant fiber if I just hit it. But what if I use the vacuum? Like, can I vacuum up any of this stuff? I was wondering if I could just get seeds or anything, but not really. Like, this isn't... You vacuum it at all. All right, good to know. I'm going to go over here and get some of this water. No, uh, yeah, this. Oh, you used a vacuum harvester to get the water. Okay. Okay, there you go. I thought maybe you would use the gun to get it, but no, no, you vacuum it up. Alright, so there's some stuff lying on the ground here. What's this blue rock? Oh, these are berry seeds. Great, great. So that's what the seeds look like. And then, ooh, there's some ore coming out here, is what it appears. This is called aluminum. All right, so let's get aluminum. Punch, punch, punch. And yep, just like any crafting game worth its salt, when you get a new resource, you unlock a whole bunch of new recipes. So let's get as many recipes as we can. Um, I wonder if there's an easy way on the loadout there to see my weight. You know, like to, to get a feel for how much inventory space I have left. I'm at 33 and a half. So I actually, I have plenty of weight. Now it's evening, so I can go to sleep just to complete that portion of the quest. But it also could be worth our time to, uh, this is just a regular bush. See if there's anything that we want to chop for gathering resources. All right, I'm going to go back and plant these berry seeds. Uh-oh, caution, water too deep, it said. Okay, so I'm going to um, shoot these berries in. Fantastic. And then we're going to go switch over to the irrigation hose. You got to be precise here. There you go. All right, I watered it all. That looks great. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to be greedy about it, and I'm going to go get these. I can see berry seeds way over here. I should get these just for planting. Okay. And then I'm going to turn on my flashlight because it looks awesome. What's this glowing tree? I'm very curious about this. Oh, is this animals? It's a swift plume nest. Okay. So that's where those bird guys live. So... 
it definitely looks like you're going to be able to domesticate animals of some kind in this. Of, well, of various kinds, I should say. And let me switch over to my uh, seed shooter. Oh, and from here, this is where you would go between the different seeds, but I don't have any different seeds. Fertilizer and water. Okay, all I have is water. I don't have any anything else. All right, good. And I'm going to get out of the mech, and I'm going to go to sleep in my little sweet... Uh, anything in the mailbox? No. Let's go ahead and uh, sleep. Effects. Keen eye. You have a chance to find additional resources in the wild. Now, you build decorations close to a homestead to increase its coziness, which is what we've been doing. We haven't got it to level one yet. It's only level zero. Hey, Sad Cats. Good evening. Good to see you. Doing great, my friend. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well. And now it's day three. Wakey, wakey, partner. The decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. Mm. It's really beginning to feel like a home. Oh, you know what, Colby? The re it's just called Restream Bot because what the bot does is it connects the Twitch chat to the YouTube chat. So it's basically just allows people in Twitch and YouTube who are watching the live stream to talk to each other and hear each other. And it just relays what they say. Okay, so um, I need to build an upgrade depot. Well, All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. How do I build an upgrade depot? Oh, here it is. Um, allows mech upgrades and customization. Ooh. Ooh, that, that seems sweet. Okay, so I need some more aluminum for this, and then whatever that aluminum frame. Well, I have to craft those. Uh, let's see. A fodder oven, and then the assembler. Okay, we need this. So we need aluminum rods, and we need the assembler. Um, let me go ahead and just queue up some more oil. There it goes. And then we're going to go um, try to find some more aluminum, I suppose. Here's some right here. I see it. About two hours, Colby. Oh, man. Sad cats, I feel you, my friend. Some days are like that. Hey, Mr. Krabs, good evening. Good to see you. It's a farming sim, Mr. Krabs, except I'm in a giant robot, uh, which is kind of awesome. All right, so I can plant this in my flower bed. Cool. And I can use blue paint if I want. All right, here's the rat scallion guy. He's got a lot of stuff here. Aluminum is sweet for, like, um, pretty much all of our crafting. But also, I get, I don't know, it's just because I'm in a mech, but I get this, like, uh, Dyson Sphere. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Oh, no, I can barely move, people. Yeah, maybe it's something like that, Colby. Chloe, good evening. There's a, a way to make more than one at a time. Okay, thank you. Hey, Zilla Shadow, good evening. Good to see you. Hey, Laser, what's up, my friend? Oh, you played the demo? Sweet, and it comes out on the 19th. Yeah, um, that's awesome. I'm actually playing the full game and not the demo because I was given, um, the developer gave me early access to the game. So I don't know if this is different from the demo, but um, that's what I've got. Yes, Miss, I played um, a couple of the Kingdom Hearts games. I, play, I beat the first Kingdom Hearts game on PlayStation. And then I played like the Demon drop maybe 
All right. So what I'm going to do is, Laser Zilla, thank you for shadow uh, following. I'm going to try to build the assembler. That's the first thing we need to build. So we're going to put it here. And I don't know if it needs to be in the shed, to be honest. I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm just going to pretend like it does. And then I'm going to see if I can build the the upgrade depot. Uh, this looks enormous, so I don't think it needs to be in the shed at all. I'm going to try to build it, like, over here. There we go. All right. Oh, they put a Kingdom Hearts game on mobile? That's cool. I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me. Yes, this is a mech, you see. It's like I'm, in, I'm farming in a mech. Grim, good evening. Good to see you. All right, so we've got the upgrade depot, but we're going to need to open this up. I need aluminum frames, so I'm going to um, make as many as I can. So I've queued this up. And then we'll need aluminum parts, but I don't think we need it for anything else. And then it's I'm over-encumbered, so let me dump some stuff in here that I don't need. Um, I'm going to put these, like, sprouts and things. I don't think that these are necessarily heavy, but I'm just dumping some of this stuff over there for the, for the time being. Oh, okay. So it's a walk around in the world kind of game, Mr. Krabs, and see things. All right, and now I need some stone. So let's go get some stone. All right, great. So I picked up a bunch of stone so I could finish this upgrade. There we go. All right. It's done. Um, get an upgrade in an upgrade depot. Okay, so I'll interact with this. And, oh, it puts the mech in there. Okay. Um, I guess I'll come over here to this t computer terminal. And we're going to hit it. Oh, look at this. Okay, seed shooter lock on. While using the seed shooter, hold left trigger to lock on. Press right trigger to follow. And it can lock on and automatically hit up to nine mounts. Oh, so this way you don't have to be precision aiming. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get gathering stuff, though. Um, this allows me to break stronger materials. This gives you more inventory. Yeah, we definitely need this, but I need aluminum electronics, and I don't have that. Um, and I don't have copper wire. Moving around. Um, wow, you could create paths. You can jump longer. Oh, man, this is cool. So there's like a tech tree. All right, Colby, take care. All right, then um, I can make new parts, but I don't know if these are like just cosmetic. Anyway, um, I definitely want this. So I'm going to go try to make aluminum parts. Now, for aluminum parts, we need polyberry oil and aluminum rods. So, the thing is, I have plant oil, but I need polyberry oil by getting my polyberries to grow. But you can see that they're not growing yet. So, I'm going to take the mech out, and we're going to water them, see how long they'll take. Let's get, this show on the road. Let's get it on the road. Right, I'm going to switch over to my irrigation hose. And we're going to just try to water this stuff. Oh, there's a not... Uh-oh, there's a weed. I have to get rid of it. Oh, man. There's weeds growing in my place. That's rude. All right. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming I just used the spike saw to get rid of the weed... Yep. Indeed, you do. You hit him with the saw. They're gone. Okay. Let's go get some water. And we need more aluminum anyway.
It's just skin and look, Clo. Okay, thank you, my friend. Thank you for telling me. All right, we're going to go ahead and just pick up the water. No. By the way, the game says it has, like, partial controller support. But I've been playing with the controller for a bit now, and so far it works great. All right, we're going to go ahead and just vacuum up this these polyberries. And I need to find some more aluminum. Turn on my flashlight. Yeah, this is like ultimate vibe out chill farming game for sure. What is this sparkly guy? Is, do I know what this is? Uh, this is... Oh yeah, I already got you. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find some more aluminum. There's a hot hanging vine rock over there, but we'll just kind of wander through the wilderness a little bit. Ooh, what's this purple stuff? It doesn't look like it's altogether good, does it? Oh, what's this? Oh, I forgot to mention this huge door. It completely slipped my mind. Well, did some scans on it many years ago, but the readings were mostly nonsense. Uh, mostly nonsense. Hey, Mouse, good evening. I haven't fed animals yet. No, I haven't made any fodder yet. You pre-ordered it on Xbox? Okay, then. That makes a lot of sense, Laser. Um, that, uh... The controller works well if it's going to be on Xbox. Doing great, Laser. Thank you for asking, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to... I mean, it looks like it's telling me to go southwest of here, you know, in these directions to get the door open, but we'll just move on. It's not helping us at the moment. There's a way up this pathway, though, so I'm going to check it out. See what we can find up here. Looks like a... Uh, a no, this is more of that goo. And these are... It looks like weeds and stuff. All right. Fine. Oh. And this is Restore Stepstone Peak. So this is another mission because this is another bot like area on the map that we've just unlocked. And they're telling us, um, you know, that's another thing that we need to do is kind of revitalize the area. So it has like a little bit of a feel of, uh, you know, Planet Crafter in, in a sense. I don't know if I'm necessarily terraforming, but I'm, you know, helping the ecosystem is what I feel like. And this is Edge Cliffs. Alright, so this is yet another area. I have found on my little ambling. And... Let me just poke around the edge of these cliffs, see if I can find any aluminum before I go back home and go to sleep. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not alright. I crashed. I got, I'm going to have to flip it. I'm rolling. Oh my gosh. It's out of control, people. Do you see that? Oh, that seems like that would make you throw up if you were on the inside. All right. Flip it up. All right. Got to be careful. You don't want that to happen. That's embarrassing. Luckily, there was nobody here to see me. <laughs> What's up, Dirty Mop? Oh, cool. Thank you for clarifying that, Laser. There's some shimmery up there. Well, this looks totally like a good idea to break this. Maybe it'll make water come out. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it says upgrade required. I gotta have a better saw to get through that. Gotcha. Yes, that's cool, Mr. Krabs. You can play this multiplayer. That's one of the nice things about it. I'm just playing it single player, but yeah, you can multiplayer this. Here's another door up here, it looks like. Or something. Thing caught your eye, 
Huh? It's an ancient megastructure. No way to tell what it was built for. Maybe it's just a huge art installation. Either way, it's no matter now. For all intents and purposes, it's just another mountain. Uh, a huge art installation. Now, I, I don't think that's what this is, but thank you for trying to explain it. Alright. So, you really only need to hit things that show up as being something with a name when you focus on it. So, this is a Znork nest. So, it's an animal nest and now here's a resource so it says ancient ruins artifacts one of nine so these are the are oh my god the mech oh gosh that's embarrassing poor mech flip it up you know it might be easier for me to just do this on my own mech fell over i'm just gonna do get this by myself Indeed. What's this? Eggs. I'm going to pick up these eggs. And, oh, here's another artifact. I'm going to just drop these eggs over here. I, wonder what this could be. I don't know. You tell me. Here's one down here. Yeah, so sometimes you don't want to be in your mech because you're a little bit more... You can get around easier. I'm sure it's dangerous, but so far it's been all right. Oh, I'm in here. Yeah, the mech certainly can't get inside here. Wow. Look at this cave. This is cool. I gotta tell you, the music in this game, the visuals, just really, really top-notch. What a fascinating discovery. Fascinating. Here's one. What a curious object. It's incredibly curious. Alright, so I think I've... I only need three more objects. This looks like it's pretty much done. Mushroom. Well, I haven't gotten one of those yet. Ah, it just gives you plant fiber. All right. Chef Smitty, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. All right. Oh, daytime, though. Yeah. As far as I can tell, obviously, this is my first time playing, but you see that bar under where it says Pine Heights and it's 0%. To me, the way I read that is you need to, like, plant enough stuff to fill that up, to to bring greenery and, you know, life back to this area. Also, there is no fatigue bar. There is no stamina. You can run as much as you want. There is no hunger. This, um, it does that when the new, the day changes. It goes to that little cutscene. But it's not a game that's that like, shy, you have to go to sleep. At least as far as I can tell. And the AI seems to give you a little update based on what you did during the previous day, which is cool. Oh, you gotta clean up the purple slime. Oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah, I'm getting to that eventually. I don't think I have the technology. I'm just gonna wander around here. I only need two more of these little bits. Oh, looks like there's something maybe up here. Oh, God. Yep, here we go. Here we go. I'm only missing one artifact. Nice. Fine. Okay, let me see if I can find the last one. There it is. Now, I don't know if there's more than what you need, but we found it. That's all we need. I've compiled our findings in the database. Okay. 
So we compiled some findings, which is cool. I haven't seen any yet at all, Dirty Mop. And you don't even, I'm telling you, you don't even have a health bar as far as I have seen. So I don't really think that there is any. I think it's meant to be a, you know, kind of like a... More of a peaceful, you know, farming type of game. But then again, I've, I just started, so I don't know. Well, let's see. You see this irrigation hose? Yeah, so maybe this is what you're talking about. Maybe if I just spray it with the water, I can get rid of it. Okay, you are 100% right. So I was wrong. It's not about planting stuff necessarily. It's about just getting rid of this slime to clean up the area. Okay, cool. Thank you. I got too much um, Planet Crafter on my mind. That's what, like, as soon as I was like, well, it's a farming game. Surely they'll incentivize you for farming. Well, that's true, of course, but you also need to clean up the slime. It's dirty. It looks bad. It's like Zelda. You got to get rid of that stuff. Okay. Um, now, I need some more aluminum. Oh, let me water my berries. Now, are these... I never can tell. Like, are these ready to go? I don't really want seeds. I want... Well, I want seeds and the berry. Because I need... Uh, there's some more aluminum. Great. It kind of respawned with the new day. Bam. All right, we got five rods right there. Here's a bunch more. I'm going to get my vacuum out. All right, tremendous. Okay. Oh, what's this? But too deep, too deep. Back out. Okay. Sorry, mech. I won't. It did grow back. All right, we got to get rid of the weeds. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of science here. This is probably questionable, but... Um, there. I'm going to see if I hit this polyberry, what happens? Nothing. Okay. I was wondering if, like, you had to harvest it, and then it would give you the berry... Oh, I see, laser. Okay, so you keep getting those to try to unlock the door. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. All right, so I have some rods. Let me go over here. If I want to get that upgrade, I need... Assembler. I need aluminum parts. Now, I can't make them, though, because I don't have the polyberry oil just yet. So we're going to wait for that. Now, I like how when you go to the item that you're going to try to craft, like, you know, it tells you what it is used to make. Okay, thank you, Laser. The concern I had was when I vacuumed it, all it in the wild, all it gives me is seeds. But I actually want the polyberry itself... Oh, I got six seeds I can plant, I guess, to try to make the the oil. So maybe I just have to wait for them to mature. Ooh, I bet there's something behind that waterfall over there. All right, I'm going to plant this stuff. So I'm going to switch over to the seed shooter and get it going. There we go, and I'm going to switch to my irrigation hose. Nice. This will hold it over until tomorrow. I hope so. 
Alright, great. Then, I'm gonna run... Oh, there's a bunch of polyberries over here. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. All right, then I'm going to go get him. Here's some bird guys. Now, if I wanted to, you know, domesticate these animals, I'm pretty sure I could make the father so I could, like, talk to those guys. They look awesome. Alright, so I'm going to try to harvest one of these to see if I, they're ready to harvest. The game usually won't let you. We got them. There we go. You are so right. And just one day and they're ready to go. So then let's go ahead quickly and plant some more. Okay, it doesn't look like it will let you waste your seeds, which is really cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll try to feed one then. Let me just get as much as many seeds planted as I can. And then we're going to switch over to the water. Get these guys ready to go. Fantastic. All right, that looks great. So, yep. This is good. And now I'm going to go here and we need to make polyberry oil. So I'm going to make as many as I can. And then... Let me look at my backpack. Okay. Here's my world map. It says... Oh, right here. The meadows. Nests fed. Feed animals to restore resources. Oh, cool. Okay. So if I feed them, it gives you a boost on resources. So we need to make that fodder. And it does say right here... Oh, it just tells you. I'm like... Derp, I didn't read it. It says, something has happened to this place. Clean up the slime and the weeds to restore Pine Heights to a healthy state. Okay, so that's what you need to do. And then economics is telling you how much money you can make buying and selling stuff, I guess. If you're going to do that. Okay. Well, let's make the fodder station. And it is right here, fodder oven. I just need stone and plant oil. I think I have plenty of that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, make some more oil. And then we're gonna go here and I'm gonna take out, uh, I do have plenty of this, but I don't have plenty of stone. So let me switch over to the spike saw and go get some stone. Wonderful. Okay. So now... I'm gonna go... Try in the shed to... Build... Oh, I can make a... A blue flower box. Okay. That's cool. Uh, go over here, though. Let's make the fodder oven. I still need more stone. Um, flagpole with the farm mech insignia. That's funny. Um, a campfire actually would probably help my... help me out. It needs to be by the tent, I guess. So I'm going to put it like there. And then... a torch. I'll put one of these here too. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to build that. Oops. Can I build you? I can. Sweet. All right, so I have enough decorations at my awesome camp right here with this ridiculous tent that I can just go inside and we're gonna sleep and we get a boost. So now... Let's build something jaw-dropping today. Jaw. Something that'll inspire us while we do a hard day's work. Dropping, indeed. 
All right. So let me build the aluminum parts. I need some more aluminum. Achievement unlocked indeed. All right. And let's see here. Now these are... It's raining, so I don't need to water them. It's like the dream day in Stardew Valley. You know, in any farming game when it's raining. Heathron, good evening. Good to see you, my friend. So far, I'm having a great time with it. <laughs> okay. So let's see if we finish the fodder. And so we can go feed the animals. Okay. Um, let me build it. What's this? Strange table. An otherworldly table. Okay, sure. Um, ooh, a small cabin. I can make like a cozier house. That's kind of fun. Um, let's go over here and make this fodder oven. I need wooden stone. Okay. Well, while all the stuff's cooking, I can go get that. Heathrun, thank you for subscribing, my friend. I appreciate that. We're breaking the rocks. All right, I have 13 stone. Pretty good. What did the achievement say? Um, I'm not sure, but I think I can check in my uh, database, maybe? I think it was happy because I got my... Um, oops. I got my decoration level to one, like my comfort level or my coziness or whatever. All right, here's a bunch of wood for us. <laughs> nice, Devin. Exactly, my friend. Exactly. It is St. Patty's Day, right? That is par for the course. Over encumbered. All right. We certainly want to upgrade our ability to carry stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go now, and we're going to try to build this thing. Can I build it? I can. And we're going to rotate it. Here. Yeah. There you go. Got it. Alright. And I want to make more aluminum parts. There you go. And then you can make basic fodder. Craft Max. Alright, queue up the rest. And uh, I need more aluminum. But I think I might have enough. How much do I have on me? I have one frame, and I have three parts. That's not enough at all. That's a shameful amount. I need so much more. All right, we're going to go find some more, but I'm overburdened, so let me put the stone in there. And let me put this wood in there, and let's go get some more aluminum. Oh, did I pick up the father, though? Oh, yeah, I have it right here. Um, okay, great. Let's go feed the animals. All right, so we need aluminum. We know that. But also, I want to try feeding these animals. I fed him. That achievement says share a nibble. Feed an animal for the first time. So I, I put food there. I don't know if that does what that does, but that happened. And then, oh my god. Oh, I'm the... Did you see that? I got knocked over. <laughs> oh, my poor mech. All right. Stand up. Let's get this show on the 
Let's get it on the road. So what I did was I jumped, and I hit the tree, and it immediately, like, spung me like a rag doll. It was brutal. Aw, oh, poor Mac. Every so often... Are these weeds? They look like weeds. No, those are actually bushes. Okay, so those aren't what we need to get rid of. I'm going to feed this guy. Oh, this isn't a feed type of situation? I have fodder. Uh, okay, I guess not. Maybe you can't feed it in this area because it's not purified yet or whatever. The trees are bullies. They're rude. Let me look at the map. So, do the animal locations show up on the map? Not that I see. Oh, not all eat the same food. Okay, thank you. Well, that explains it. Well, look, animals. If you want to eat, you're going to have to eat the same food. That's just how it works around here. I'm not a connoisseur. I'm not a, an amazing chef. Um, now, this is still the meadows where I am. So I'm kind of doing a scan for aluminum and also a scan for animals. Oh, okay. Thank you. You got to feed them both. I see. Makes sense. Alright, let me get my vacuum. Let me get that water. Chop me off. Alright, we got water. And let's see. Give me that berry seed. And this is where we want the aluminum to be, but... It's, um, not there because it hasn't replenished yet. So we're trying to, uh, help the replenishment rate by discovering and feeding animals, I guess, is one thing we're doing. Hmm. Now, this might just be going back to the door. I'm going to turn around. I don't want to go this way. It'll grow back. All right, all right. It looks like it'll grow back. Oh, you know what? I keep talking a big game about how I'm going to go behind the waterfall and then not doing it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to get out of my mech. And the good thing is, no, there's nothing. It's a dead-end waterfall. Don't be like me. Don't think there's anything back there. <laughs> I've been embarrassed. Okay. Luckily, you don't die or anything. It just puts you back in your mech. It's like, oh, there's aluminum. Oh, my God. I never thought I'd be so happy to see aluminum. We see it. I know, I know, Devin. Like, how could there not be stuff behind the waterfall? You can't swim if you're not in the mech. Yeah, makes sense. All right, here's a nest. Let's see if um, we can feed this little guy. Dude, will you take the food? Oh, you scared it. Okay. Okay, let me get out of the mech. I wonder if I can talk to it like this. I fed it. Look at this guy. He ate it. He's eating it with his crazy tongue. He, he's happy. We made that guy's day. Oh, it's done up close. All right. 
So I can, you know, do a little bit of stuff outside the mech. I don't feel great about it, but let's see if I can g gather this. Uh, not really, but I could carry it over to my mech. I know, doesn't it? It's like these strange, you know, hexagonal Let's get this. prisms of... Uh, We, oh, pick it up just by walking on it, I guess. There you go. Did you pick it up? Yeah, you did. Okay, great. All right, we, we fed two nests. Let's look for that other nest. I know I've seen it. Not oh. Sure they appreciate a stomping mech. No, they don't. Um, all right, here. I'm going to get out. So they're telling you they don't like a stomping mech. Let me see if I can talk to this guy. Swift Plume. Whoa. This guy is awesome looking. He is really happy. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Alright, let's get back in the old mech. We did our job that day. Alright, we're going to just pull in some more seeds. Hey, Sentience. What is up, my friend? Thank you so much for the super chat. Good to have you back. I hope you're doing well. I'm walking around in a giant mech. Doing my thing. Oh, pick him up? Okay, I'll try that. Thank Don't you. I will try that. So I'm going to run over here. And um, has this guy... I can't pick him up. Okay. Oh, you mean pick him up with the vacuum cleaner? From the mech? I know. Oh, look, he he pooped out some aluminum is the only way I could take that. It's kind of like plorts from slimes. Oh, yeah, he was sad. Let's get this show on the road. Man, his, his bowels must be something else if he's pooping out aluminum rods, but we'll take it. Yeah, so if you feed the animals, they can poop out resources that you need. Here's another animal nest, I think. I'm going to check it out. They dig it up. Okay. Okay. Oh. I see. You got to feed it more, not just one. Okay, that was my mistake. Look, here's the here's the crab. Uh-oh, water too deep. So they're they love me. I guess you're right, Alex. That makes sense, right? All right, so let me go feed the nest more times. I didn't feed it enough. I know. Croblings is awesome. Rat scallions is awesome. You're right. This game is very charming. It's got, like, a really cool vibe to it. All right, let's see here. Let me go back to the uh, rat guys and feed them more. I didn't feed them enough. There's one over here too. Let me feed this. Don't forget where you parked it. Alright, so let me see if I could feed this. Oh, no, that place is actually full. So there's one more nest that I need to feed. I'll check the rat's galleons to see if that's it. So 
So this guy, I think he dug up some plant fiber, which, you know, there we go. Three out of three nests fed in the meadows. So I don't know what that does, but I think it helps resources respawn more quickly. The pickaxe does look cool, and it can do this, where it, like, it picks stuff up, like, uh, the gravity weapon from Half-Life 2. Okay, so I think I could come back here now, and we're almost ready to upgrade our mech. All right, oil presser. Um, hit us with plant oil, sure. And then assembler. Um, get me this. As many as you can make. Aluminum parts. Good. And then there we go. And it rained, so all this stuff should be okay. Oh, here. Hit it like this. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get this weed out of here. I'm having trouble hitting it. Here. There we go. And now I'm going to look at the rain on the glass of your mech. That's a cool effect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my seed shooter. Into the, soil it goes. Into the soil it goes. And it's raining, so we're doing great. I'm going to try to make another farm plot. Okay, great. And I'll easily just be able to get some wood. I think I have some lying around. <laughs> that would be crazy, Devin. I know. Where it's like, oh, oh, I was not expecting that. What is this? It does sound great, too. You're right. I mean, look at the, the lighting and, you know, all of the nice bright colors, the sci-fi elements. Game's just got such a unique visual. I need more plant fiber. I never thought I'd say that. I used to be replete with plant fiber. Now I'm bankrupt. We're going to get some. Give me the fiber. There's a million. Oh my god, it's a new day. Okay, so now it's counting all the nests. It says extra resources restored in this region. So we get a boost of three. Nothing like a good night's rest. I didn't I'm sleep. Really good about today. I, we'll run into something amazing. I love how, like, not only upbeat and optimistic the AI is that's, like, with you, but it also has, like, a southern draw. Okay. That's fine. It's great. Okay, we're harvesting uh, the poly berries. We're getting a ton. Beautiful. Alright. Yeah, the aluminum grew back everywhere because we got plus three. That's a good point, Dirty Mop. That's awesome. Alright, so we're going to Make a bunch of polyberry oil. And then the assembler. Um, did I get... How many... I have enough to upgrade. So I'm going to try to do the upgrade to complete the quest. And we're going to go over here. And I can make this one? Yeah. So we can improve the spike saw... And I think that's just about the only thing... We could do water tank capacity pretty easily. Uh, we could do the hydro splash, and we could do the, the seed shooter lock-on. Uh, that's about it. I actually like this, though, because I want to see about getting some new stuff. Okay, so we got fledgling mech mechanic, the achievement. And now, we are rolling. Alright, so let's make some fodder. So we could feed the animals. And let me go over here. I need plant oil. 
I used to have so much. I'm ruined. Alright. I need... I'm gonna need to build another shed and another oil presser, you know, so I can just have more of this stuff happening. But in the meantime, let's just go get aluminum. Actually, let me check my inventory. Yeah, I need to put some stuff away. I have plenty of fodder. I actually have a good amount of aluminum, to be honest. I'm going to just plant my seeds then. If you miss with the seeds, you pick them back up, I think. I could be wasting them, but I don't think I am. Ha! Into the soil it goes. How many farming games let you just shoot? They're like, all right, here's what you're going to do. Great shot. You're going to use a gun. And you're going to shoot the seeds into the earth. <laughs> it works great, though. Alright. Okay, that's a lot of poly bear that were grown. So let me switch over to my irrigation hose. You could see how much nicer it's going to be when... Uh, this does itself. Like, when I have a better you know, watering method and, and planting method. So those are going to be upgrades that I can't wait to get also. Alright, I gotta get some more water. Oh, looks like uh, the plant oil is working. I'll take these. All right, that's happening. Okay, so let me see. Is this one of those things where it's like you need to feed the plant, the uh, animals every single day? Let me see about that. This is one of my favorites. Yes, you do. And that's okay. It just you just make the rounds. You're like, all right. Now I'm going to get out and do it like this and see if I can be like, what's up, dude? Oh, it's done and up close. Oh, you don't need to... F you could either feed the nest or feed the dudes. That's what it is. And there's a bunch of aluminum, and that guy just pooped out aluminum. Okay, great. And it counts at the nest if you feed them out here. So you can, you know, do it more quickly. But if you feed the... Uh, if you feed the nest, it looks like they don't poop out the stuff. So, you got to ask yourself, how much resource poop do you want? There we go. Probably a lot. Probably all of it. Let's go talk to those crabs. So I'm going to go talk to the crabs, and then we might want to work on an area of restoration. I know, me too, Dirty Mop. I'm going to get out, and I'm just going to run up to these crabs and see if I can just feed them. Maybe we should leave the neck behind if we want to get close. Guy loved it, and he pooped out a rock. Okay. Look at this little guy. Hermit crab man. All right. So if you're in, if you're out of the mech and you want the polyberry, you just hold down L2 with your pickaxe and you kind of pick it up like this. And then you can bring it over to your mech. At least this is the, the way that I've found that makes sense. I don't know if there's a better way to gather it. And then just drop it on the ground 
and then get into mech. And then just, you know, vacuum it, I guess, or walk on it, and you'll have it. Okay, tremendous. Let's go get aluminum. It's everywhere. I don't want to miss out on all the aluminum. Wow, look at that planet. It's got a giant ring. Looks pretty sweet. Okay. Alright, so we're going to scare away the animals for sure. And that's just the reality of it. But we got some aluminum. And let me get my uh, proper tool out. And let's get all this. Here we go. So you see how the tree icon shows up sometimes? I think that is like because I have coziness level one at my base, that means that sometimes you get an extra resource to spawn. By the way, this is a loving game. You can't step on or kill the animals in any way. You can just scare them. So, you see the tree icon right there? I think that means I got an extra aluminum. It's one of those things I love in this game, like, where I don't want to kill the rat scallion by stepping on it with my mech, and so you can't. It's like, no, no, you won't do that. All right, now I'm over encumbered. It is like bamboo. Isn't that great? It means as long as you keep the animals fed and those things respawn, you actually don't have to go, like, miles and miles away from your base to gather. Oh, I need more water. Oops. Okay. I'm going to put all this stuff in here. All the aluminum. Um, oh, the... My box is full. Oh, but I have polyberries. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, here. Make all that. Just do it all. Tremendous. Okay, and then... Let me see, did I ever pick up any water? No. Right, let me, I gotta get water. I gotta water these plants before the next day. I don't want them to die. Whoa, that was risky. I risked it. There we go. All right, we're going to run up here, turn on my flashlight, get my water irrigation hose out. And let's start watering this up. All right, I'm probably, like... I have too much of a farming operation going here. It's hard for me to actually water all this stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, looking great. And it's evening, but let me see about this. Uh, Alright. Get that going. plant oil. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, that would be amazing. Just auto-watering. I'd love it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. Get that keen eye. See the animals just hanging out. And we fed them all, so we do get the resource regeneration. I agree. Weed seeds incoming. How dare you? Oh, look. It's... It fell... Oh, no! It fell down and attacked my... Oh, man. These jerks. 
I don't know how to stop it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you can hit it out of the air. Look at that, and you get a noxious pod. Interesting. Get out of here. No one likes you. We're getting attacked, people. Well, we wondered if there was combat. There is combat. It's with weeds. Okay, so you have to fight him off. I can't really target this weed like I want to. I guess you're right. And I'm furious about this. Ruined my fa farm here. I... I just can't stand it. All right, let's go ahead and pick up the... Yep, pick up this oil. All right, I'm going to make as many aluminum parts as I can. Tremendous. And then make, I guess, some aluminum frames, too, while you're at it. Alright, and then go over here. Can you make, uh... Yeah, do that, but... Let me see. Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Let me dump some stuff out. I have seven parts. I wonder if I can upgrade anything else. Let me look at it. it can be purified. Oh. I need to make another container. Let me make another box or something. Another storage container. Now that I know that uh, it doesn't matter where the boxes are, like it doesn't draw from it, then I'm just going to put another one like right over here. Need some more lumber. No problem. I'm going to go chop down some trees. I like that it gives you the option, though, like, if you don't really care about being delicate, you can just come over here and just, just feed it. Yeah, it's not, you don't need to eat. It ain't that kind of thing. Isn't that funny? Alright. Um, yeah, I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to put in, like, some of these items that I don't know if I need at the moment. Alright, I'm going to go check out the upgrade guy. The legs, huh? Oh, whoops. I don't think I actually hooked this up. I did not. Here. Uh. There we go. Okay. So. Uh, if I wanted to get the irrigation hose hydro splash, while using the hose, hold left trigger to charge it and it can fire big blobs of liquid that can splash on multiple mounds at the same time. Seems good. Uh, so let's get this. What is... This is... I don't have aluminum electronics. Yeah, so let's just get this. Got it. Alright, we got the hydro guy. 
I think I'm going to also build another shed so that I could just have more automation happening because the fact that the oil takes time to process is kind of slowing me up a little bit. So I'm going to run over here. Chop them down. It's a good question, Dirty Mop. So you use the oil for crafting, like just about everything. For the animal feed, for upgrades, for building stuff. It's really important. Oh my gosh, wrong button, wrong button. Get in there. There it goes. Almost have enough. Hit me. There we go. There you go. Great. Alright. It's done. And then now we're going to go ahead and build uh, another oil presser in here. And that's what I want. So I'll just put it like right here. Tremendous. Okay, now uh, we need some stone. No problem. Did I put stone away? Do I have any lying around? I have... Yeah, I actually have a pretty reasonable amount I'm going to put these frames away I'm going to go back here and uh, we need more aluminum rods I have those though and then go ahead and make that tremendous let me look at this oh boy It's the stones. Okay. I'll put away the fiber for a moment. Oh, I'm still carrying too much here. Put the stones in. There you go. I want to check just one more thing about uh, what can I make? What upgrade can I get that's close? So this is... Uh, I could cr You can blueprint, like create a mission for this if you want. So the seed shooter lock-on just takes plant oil. This takes a bunch of polyberry oil. And this is all resources that I don't have. So I'm going to kind of pretend like I want seed shooter lock-on. It seems important. But I need a bunch of plant oil to get it. And so to get plant oil, we're trying to go about building another shed and another oil press all right so we need stone to do that also how much water do i have none so let me get water i gotta water all my stuff Ooh, i'm running low on time like i have to water everything that i've got and i also want to get this seeds flowing so i gotta get stone to get the oil press and I'll, I also want to go around and explore and try to clean up the areas. These look like they're okay, though. In terms of... You know, being healthy. Oh, wait. Let me try my new tool. Whoa, did you see that? So, because I had upgraded it... I can pretty much get it to just hit all of it, or almost. I bet if I aimed it better, I could hit the entire plot. So that's super convenient. I love that. Alright, I need a little bit more water. Okay, and then what you got here? You done with oils? Alright, here, give me plant. 
Um, and while you're doing that, I need stone. There's a little bit at my foot, but I need this bigger stone right here. Yeah, I want to remove the weeds, but it, I, I tried earlier and it just wasn't letting me. I don't know if I had to wait or what you have to do to them. Maybe if I just spray them with water. Alright, the oil presser is done. Let me get all of my plant fiber out of this container. Because you see, if I can't even like really target this thing. Oh, vacuum harvester? Oh, that's it? I was, like, making it way harder than it really was. Whoops. Okay. I just had to vacuum it. Thank you. Hilarious. I was like, these things are diabolical. They're going to require this absolutely high level of technology that I don't quite have. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Now, you see how, you know, these guys right here they make this oil press has a little door in front of it where the oil comes out can I put a box like right by it and have it automatically go in there or is it just always dump out and you need to pick it up alright I'm going to go ahead and get some more water Okay. Let me get the uh, aluminum while it's here. It's too heavy. Okay, here we go. I know, Sentience, that's what I'm... I am just keep thinking about automation because I see the game feels very much, especially if you're in first person, it has some Factorio and, you know, satisfactory Dyson Sphere-like vibes to it. You see, And you see how, like, there's a, there's a little conveyor belt on the assembler and it dumps into that little teeny box, you know? So I just kind of keep going there, like, oh, it's gotta be, you know? But... It's not. Now this thing seems to make stuff instantly, which is cool. Pick these up. Dump in these stones. Alright. Let me see about the plant oil. There you go. Okay, how much oil do I have? I have six. Okay, I can make the better seed shooter. Let's check that out while we're here. Stretching the legs, huh? Stretching the legs. Just stretching them. And then I can make this. No, I already made this. I mean this guy. Lock on. Sweet. Oh, it, the seed shooter can lock on up to 18 mouths. That's hilarious. Love it. Okay, let's check this out. So, I don't really need it per se, but I'm going to zoom out. You see how I have a lot of fields that are not yet planted. So, what if I went over here and I was like, give me the seeds. I have 36 seeds, actually. So, let me select my uh, seed shooter. And then, yes. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Do you see this? So, I'm holding down left trigger, and it's like those games where you have, like, a missile targeting. And I'm just kind of walking around and... Um, <laughs> this makes planting so hilarious. Now that is how you plant. Alright, now I'm going to use my uh, irrigation hose. And just kind of... Boop. And... Now that 
is fun. So I have to say that one of the things that's really cool about this game is just it's so much fun. Like, they made watering, which, you know, in Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, whatever, can be quite tedious. But when you get to shoot with a mech, it's more fun. All right, there we go. We've gathered all this. Now that I've got this stuff being grown, and I really can't do much more, I'm going to look at the map. And you see how here's the meadows, and they want me to go to Pine Heights, and they want me to go to Edge Cl Cliffs and Stepstone Peak. So I'm thinking about just going up here to Pine Heights. I'm going to set my marker there. Wow, look at that beautiful sunrise. Goodness gracious. And this sweet planets and stuff. This is a really cool looking game. I'm going to go over here. And I'm just going to do my best to clear out some of the nastiness. Mullet, what's up, my friend? So the mech arm, you have to um, right click or use the left trigger if you're using a controller. That's what I did. I don't know if it's a bug, but that's all I had to do. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is where we were. Uh, let me see about going up here. Alright, so... Red color flower. Nice. Okay, here we go. So this is Pine Heights. So I'm going to switch to the irrigation hose. And I'm just going to kind of blast this stuff away. New day. I was like, did I die? Yeah, that's how you interact with... Um... Mullet, that's how you interact with, like, the mech and stuff. But you're right. That surprised me, too. I think it's right-click to pick up the arm. And you, you have to hold it. All right, cool. So I'm just kind of clearing out this area. I'm going to use my uh, vacuum harvester. Left click. Okay, thank you. Perfect. I got a stain removal achievement. Alright, that one's gone. I can see the appeal of getting the larger water tank. I'm going to try my bomb and see if I, if my um, gun makes this easier. Yeah, so I can just fire one shot from my powered up hydro cannon and get rid of all of it. Or at least one pile of it. Nice. Take this. All right, we're at 57%. Not bad at all. So I'm going to go refill and just continue clearing out Pine Heights. All I need to get the better, the larger water cannon is uh, some more berry oil. So I'm growing like a, a million of those things. So that should be pretty simple for me.
Oh, there's water up here too. Great. Heck yeah. Oh, here's a nest. Let me feed these guys. Stretching the legs, huh? Now, I might be out of food, actually. around see if I can find some more of this slime hmm hmm I say I think there's a bunch over here by this artifact site. Yeah, I'm just out of food. I need to make more. That's another thing that plant oil is for, is making the uh, fodder for the animals. I don't think I went over here. Let me just double check to make sure there's no uh, slime hiding over here. I see some red haze, but I don't think so. Yeah, Devin, this is an ancient ruin. And earlier, I found a bunch of artifacts around this ancient ruin that gave me some information about the area. And I think you have to go around the planet exploring more of these things. This is the dam, and I got 9 out of 9 artifacts from it. Here we go. Here's a bunch of slime over here. And there's water, which is so great. Yeah, it's really cool. Honestly, I'm super impressed by this game so far. Hit me. So far, Devin, it looks like it's a complete pacifist game, except for the small little mini-game where you're fighting the seeds that are wandering in. But then again, I've only been playing this game for about like two hours, so there could be a lot more. Region restored. We did it. And we got an achievement. System in this region is adjusting itself lickety split. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. I sent countless reports to Earth, telling them this was it. A new home for humanity. There just might be hope for this planet yet. Oh boy. Whoa there. Ah, uh, just rolling around. I think it's funny that, um, wow, look how beautiful this is outside of the mech. Just looking at, like, the, the leaves blowing in the wind with the butterflies and this field full of flowers. And a mech that fell over. Okay, Dirty Mop, thank you. No combat? Yeah, that it really feels like a game that would have no combat. Oh, okay, cool. So now that I've done that, you're saying more items will show up. Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, let's see what we got going over here with our polyberries. Looks like a lot of them have grown. Indeed, they have. Tremendous. Okay. So let me see how we're doing in terms of uh, the seed shooter. Here we go.
Uh, good news is we can water pretty easily. <laughs> I know, Devin, but luckily they're they're hardy, so they can handle it. There we go. All right. Um, now, how many oil do I have? I have five on me, and then... Do I have any over here? No. All right, I'm going to start putting some stuff away. I'm, I'm overburdened. Insufficient capacity. Well, how about that? All right. Looks great. Okay. So now I've got plenty of... I need some more oil. I'm gonna just gonna go to sleep. We need to look for some more areas to clear, and it says region restored pine heights. Oh, I see. So now this region's aluminum. You could see. Oh, look at that. Now that's something I didn't have yet. That red stuff. So we need that for something. So we better go back to this area. Oh, there's the door again. Ah, okay. So every time you unlock or purify an area, all right, it did feel great. You're right. Okay. So we have an idea of what we need to do. We got a bunch of oil. Hey, Gator Mater, thanks for following, my friend. And I have 15 now, which is enough to do what, exactly what I wanted to do. We're going over here, people. We're going to upgrade this mech. And we're going to walk right over here, and we're going to upgrade the water tank capacity. Wonderful. Um, now, I don't believe yet... I don't know if that's red crystal that we saw... Or what, but we're gonna go get it. And now we're gonna go check this other area. Let me take let me get some uh, plant food being made though. My scanners weren't lying. There really is someone out here in this corner of the frontier. The name's Dolores, but my friends call me Lola. And I'm your friendly neighborhood merchant. I'll add that dog of yours to my trading route. Catch me there if you need anything. Okay, so there's a trading route. So I can maybe buy or sell stuff. So they want me to build a, a merchant dock is what they're asking for. Okay, so let's see about that. Uh, it's in the quest panel. And it's a merchant landing. Well, this thing looks sweet, but uh, I don't have, sadly, what it needs just yet. But I'll build it. I mean, why not? Put it right there. Okay. Okay. We need stone, we need aluminum rods, no problem. There you go. Alright, and then... I'm gonna go ahead and make some food. Tremendous. Okay, and I'm going to put back this and these. Wonderful. All right, so I got some food going. 
yeah, it looks like there is an NPC now. She might just, Dirty Mop, be somebody who trades you stuff and you never actually get to visit them. But I'm not sure about how that how that's going to unfold. It has very much that kind of you're here by yourself slime rancher type of vibe, but I'm not sure. Uh, what is this? Rabbage. Oh my goodness. How about some rabbage, anyone? It's red cabbage. Otherwise known as rabbage. But we can plant rabbage. Because we clean this area. And so there's new stuff. Alright. I'm going to look for those red crystals. And then we could go check out the cliffs and some other areas too. Rabbage, there's the rocks. There they are. So I like how, you know, you're understanding... Ooh, these guys. Okay, let me get out of my mech. Because I know that there's no danger, I can just go out and feed this guy. This is a... But he wants nice fodder. He doesn't want the garbage that I've got. All right. Good to know. So you see the loop, like this area has red crystal. And if I want more red crystal, well, I'm going to have to come feed these guys, the nice father, to get the red crystal to respawn. I don't really see a lot of it. I mean, I see plenty of rabbage. Like, that's not a problem. But I'd like some more red crystal. Let's see if I can locate it a little bit. I'm sure I will get it, like, on the tech tree. But it would be kind of handy to have some kind of uh, resource scanner. You know, maybe you can ping in an area... Or you have a radar or something. I don't know. What's that over there? It looks red. Geode shards. Um, okay. Alright, I got him. Here we go. Alright, I'm just going to keep exploring through this area, looking for some more of those red crystals. Not so much, but I do have the larger water container. All right, so we can go back and see about processing some of this new material. Well, let me check this really fast, actually. This is a, oh no, this is just going to the other side of where I was. Okay, fine. So we're going to plant a bunch of rabbage, obviously.
All right, how we doing, plants? Pretty good. So because it doesn't matter, like, where these things are planted, I'm just going to go ahead and use my seed shooter and get these rabbit seeds and just plant them everywhere. Hey, Karma, what's up, my friend? It is, it is farming in a mech. I plant with what can only be described as a rocket launcher with homing rockets. It's so good. And then I've got my ultra upgraded watering cannon. Boom. Take that. It really is a unique concept. There we go. My upgraded watering gun is awesome. Alright. Give you some polyberry oil. And plant oil. Okay, great. Now, let me see about this red crystal. What can I do with this? Nice fodder just requires polyberry oil. Okay, we can make this then. There. We made nice... Now, I don't know how to make the... What do I do with this uh, red crystal? So I use it for constructing the merchant landing, I guess. And then it's used in a recipe for red crystal dust. But I don't see a facility yet that can do that. I should build this cabin. Let me refill my uh, harvester. There we go. Okay, great. And I'm going to put away a bunch of these ingredients. Oh. Okay. Actually, looks pretty good. Now... I would like to uh, I guess get some lumber, I guess. I want to build that cabin and I want to check to see if the storage box that you can build that looks more like a crate if it's bigger than a little chest you can build. Tremendous. Over encumbered indeed. Alright, so can I build the cabin? Yes. I'm going to put it like over here in the same area that my tent is. That'll be useful. I hope it'll be useful. Alright, I added everything except for the frames, which I have over here. 
One of these boxes has frames. Here we go. There it is. So, did that just raise my comfort level? And that's pretty much it. Which is fine. Just... Just curious. Alright. And let me try to build this guy. I'm going to put it... I'll put it right over here with the other stuff. Just kind of... It looks like there's no way it's going to be as big. But I'll just double check. Oh, you need soft wood for that guy, though. Um, I only have five soft wood, sadly. So I can add some. Okay. Let's try to sleep in the cabin. Look at this thing. This little house looks awesome. Animal friend. Um, animals have a chance to dig up additional resources when fed. Now, this, I probably need, um... more decorations. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. You've been doing real well since you arrived. Keep up the good work. Well, thanks. I appreciate your eternal optimism. All right. So what we want to do is focus on uh, I'll put away this and this and what else can I put away this? Sure. And let me go to my next box. Okay. It's raining, so I don't need to water. We can gather most of this. Tremendous. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a bunch of oil. <laughs> hey, Jokers, what's up, my friend? It is. It is a hoot. Mandruski, what's up, my friend? I'm so glad you could catch the stream as well. All right. We're going to check out the map. And we're going to go to Edge Cliffs. So I'm going to put a little marker on the map. There. All right. Uh, let me check my water. Yeah, I'm at full. I'm at 80. All right, we're going to go give the edge cliffs a little bit of cleaning. We've heard they've had some problems. All right, so you could see that... Oh, yeah, right at... So this place just has weeds right on the ground. Oh, wait, this is vacuum job. Okay, and these do give you... Um, so this is a different type of purification. Sometimes you kill the slime. This one is just rip up the weeds. Oh, thank you, Tentians. Yeah, you could see all the weeds down there that we need to pick up, but luckily it just gives you plant fiber, which we need anyway to make oil in our press. It'll be interesting to see what resources this area starts producing. This looks like a hidden cave. I'm going in. So when you find a secret, you can explore it on foot. What's in here? Okay, some rat scallions. We can feed them. 
Oh, I don't know if I have any. I do have food. So maybe the idea is there's really nothing secret in here. Maybe when I purify this area, more will appear. But it's... If I go in there, that's where I can feed the rat scallions to help replenish the resources in this area. I know, Devin. I gotta say, though, to be honest, if they spent money making mechs like this that were, you know, piloted by people, I bet they could do some pretty cool stuff. You just need a big vacuum cleaner on the mech, and it's pretty... Kind of does itself. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought. That makes sense, Chloe. So you can't feed them until you clean it. So I think I saw a bunch more weeds over this way. Yep. Weed whacker. Got an achievement for ripping up the weeds. We'll rip them up all right. Take that, weeds. Oh, we found a an area with artifacts. Oh yeah, the ruins. Yeah, there's a bunch of them littered around the planet. Never did figure out who left them. I tried scanning them with all my instruments over and over. I've got nothing to show for it. Feel free to scrutinize them. Maybe you'll spot something I missed. Well, did you scan the purple glowy stuff? What a fascinating discovery. Discovery. I think so, you're right. What a curious object. Curious, she says. Ah, look, there's one over here. I'm gonna get out. Nice, fine. Lots of weeds down there. Alright, um, actually I don't see as many as I thought. I'm gonna go get these weeds. There's more artifacts down here, I'm sure. Ooh. Jokers, I, uh, I teach college English, my friend. Alright, we're gonna go over here. And we're going to move down through this area. Got it. Region restored. All right. One more for the count. Great job. I knew this planet had more beauty to uncover. It just needed a little TLC is all. If my long-range transmitter hadn't broken ages ago, I'd send Earth one final report. Told you so. Plus maybe a few choice words you don't need to hear. <laughs> exactly, Devin. You know, just for some scientific research later in the lab. Alright, so let's see. What areas... Oh, so this is Lowland Plains. This is another biome that we need to... Actually, I don't know if it's, you know, necessarily want to call it a biome. It's just another region. Might be very similar in terms of ecology. Alright. So, in my limited experience, you usually have to wait one day before the area starts yielding 
resources of its new type, and it kind of shows you in like a a cutscene what you're gonna get, what you can come find. So we'll go back home. Uh, looks like my house is on the map. My legs are fine. Don't even worry about it. Wow, I didn't expect I would come out over here, but I did. All right, well, I can definitely go ahead and just plant a bunch of these guys. All right, and it's raining, so I don't have to worry. And then let's go ahead and immediately, you know, make as much plant oil as you can on one and make as much polyberry oil as you can on the other and then give me um, craft max. All right, great. So this thing, it needs some stone. Stone is not hard. But the red crystal, I'm going to have to explore more to get it. To find out where in that biome it is. Uh-oh, over-encumbered. It's all right. We're going to go over here. And we're just going to put this stuff in there. Here we go. Here we go. Um. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is then, I can't build the rest of it because I need the red dust. But I'm going to get out. And go over here. Well, that's a great question that you're asking, Jokers. Now, I don't know the full answer to it because I'm not in charge of making choices like that. But that is a, a question about the vestiges of the liberal arts education. Okay, so here's the edge cliffs. So, the traditional liberal arts education, okay, it has all these red crystals that I'm looking for, but these look different. These are kind of more um, slabs, so I'm going to have to go see what those are. In the liberal arts education, the idea was you taught someone a full breadth of knowledge to train them for matriculating I will. Into society. So, you would take a wide range of classes. And then, you have, like, at a technical school, you would only take classes that were for your exact major. So, like, you would know nothing about any other subject except exactly what you're doing. So, colleges um, focus on your major, but they try to give you a wide range of knowledge to make you a more well-rounded individual, if that makes sense. Yeah, it you will take these classes that it'll feel like this has no practical application to my life, but, um, you know, like, for example, I took, like, anthropology, history classes, um, you know, biology even, and, and yet, exactly right, like, after I get out of school, I, I find myself interested in those areas and glad that I know a little bit about those subjects. Greenhouse, good day to you, my friend.
Well, it's based on hundreds of years of, uh, you know, pedagogy choices for colleges, and it's it's an older method. It used to be like way more broad what you took um, and they've gotten more and more into being refined but they don't want to be just a trade school they still want to give you a breadth of knowledge but I could understand how that might not be for everybody I think they're shifting more and more um, to be more focused on your major but at the same time um Yeah, Devin, and exactly, and it's like, so I teach English, right? And a lot of people, they don't want to take a writing class. They don't want to take an English class. You know, they're like, I'm going to be a doctor, or I'm going to be, you know, um, a, an engineer. Like, I don't need this. This is a waste of my time. But, I mean, obviously, like, from my estimation, everybody needs to know how to write and to communicate. So, you need to have some training at that, even if it's not specifically what you're going to be doing. But what I liked about it when I was in school was that you got to pick what classes you took. So like your elective classes, which is your classes that weren't geared towards your major, you got to choose. So I would take like, I think I took a class on like East Asian language and literature and just learned about like Asian history and literature over the years, which I would have never had any idea about. And it was really interesting. Um, that being said, I took some stinkers of classes too, you know, that was like, that was a big waste of my time. So maybe one day, but yeah, I feel you. Yeah, you know, and sure. And there's, there's pros and cons to each approach. The specialized approach gives you more specific knowledge and it might even be quicker but at the same time, if you put people into the world who only know, like, if all you do is this one thing and that's all you know, then you, you can't think about things in a, in a different way. You can't see it from a different perspective or use, you know, um, outside the box imagining to solve the problem sometimes, if that makes any sense. But again, it's a matter of debate. All right, everybody. Well, I got to say, um, I have really enjoyed this game so far. Um, I think it's fascinating. And I think it's a lot of fun. I was not sure what to expect. But it really is a chill game. that You get to be in a mech. You get to have fun. And you get to farm with a gun. And you have a pickaxe and a saw at the same time. So, I'd like to keep playing, but it is indeed my bedtime, and I want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream, having some fun, checking out some Lightyear Frontier. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. Tomorrow, we're going to be back with a roguelike, and we're going to be playing Quasimorph again, because I had such a good time with that, and I want to see... They released a massive update, and I want to check that out. Alex, Grim... Yeah, Joker, it is a lot of fun. See, Joker, that's a problem. Like, I agree with you, which is that for a computer science, you should take way more coding. I agree. That doesn't make any sense. Devin, Grainhouse, Gator, Sentience, thanks again for the super chat. Heathrun, thank you for subscribing. Zilla, Laser, Tired Tortoise, Clo Karma Mullet Dirty Mop Mr. Krabs Colby Mouse Sad Cats Yeah, I'm looking forward to Quasimorph as well, Devin. Everyone out there, take care. Have a great one.